Do you have the number since they made the trades? That is, you're talking about the bullpen trades? Yeah. Yeah, well, that is since August 1st, right? Those trades happened right at the deadline. Oh, you so said August 1st. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, look, so to your point, yes, a lot of that is skewed by, you know, an anomalous Doolittle outing here and there. But that's part of what makes averages. And honestly, Doolittle, uh, you know, he's, he's been worse lately than he was earlier in the season. But he, he hasn't been his usual sub all year long. That's Way true. more hittable. Mm -hmm. He's not true. missing bats. His whiff rate is down by, like, 40% from last year. So lots of red flags. Hopefully, if you're a Nats fan, he's better when he comes back. But that's all. that all goes into the package, right? It doesn't help that Rowanis Elias got hurt as soon as they got him over there. Um, you know, Daniel Hudson has been extremely impressive. So regardless of what happens with those other guys, you certainly like him. Hunter Strickland's been doing a good job. You know, Suero, depending on whether good Suero or bad Suero shows he's up. Been he's been markedly been better since the All-Star break. I mean, maybe give me some number and shock me, but I think he's been significantly <laughs> better. Do not have those numbers in front of me. But, no, he, he's definitely he, he's, he's headed in the right direction. He still has that random outing yeah. where as soon as he comes in. If I'm Davey, here's what I do with Wander, because I feel like there's no middle ground. I give him, like, a three-pitch evaluation, and if, if he looks bad after three pitches, I just yank him. Yeah. <laughs> it's either it's just binary with him. Right. Eddie, if you had to bet right now, so we have the Nats as the first wild card team. And there are a bunch of teams vying for wild card spots. But the second wild card team, it's interesting to me, the Phillies are just a game back. How great would it be if the Nats faced the Phillies in a wild card game? Bryce went yard again last night after coming back. He's up to 28. Um, how realistic do you see that potential wild card matchup? Yeah, for sure. I mean, right now, that second spot, I mean, well, let's not kid ourselves. Anything can happen over the final month. Even the Nationals, who sure. are up four games over that second spot, could fall, especially because their schedule the last month of the season is brutal. Mm -hmm. But having said that, that second spot, you know, Cubs, Phillies, Mets, Brewers, even the Diamondbacks, Giants still aren't totally out of it. So it could be anybody. Um, but sure, I think right now, if, if I'm looking at it, to me, it's either the Cubs or the Phillies. Because <clears throat> I feel like the Mets are kind of a hoax. They, they did really well against a lot of poor competition, although they did sweep the Indians last week. Um, but yeah, I feel like at this point, if I'm ballparking it, I, I feel like it's like a 50% chance that it could be Bryce against the Nationals. I was saying earlier, um, four games is hard to, to lose. Uh, when you have so many teams in it, especially with the Nats when they play the Orioles two and then the Marlins three, so you got five games against the bottom feeders coming up. And then you play the the Braves, um, but four games they got to feel real comfortable with a four game lead. They do, and especially like you said, Orioles, Marlins, but they really got to take advantage of that because after yep. that you got Mets, Braves, Twins, Braves, Cardinals who are as playing as well as anybody right now. And you get a little breather with the Marlins, and then you get the Phillies and the Indians to finish the season. That's a really, really hard month. So you know, I think that, like you said, the cushion is large right now, and, and you know Max is supposedly getting healthy, so you have to like that. Bullpen's trending in the right direction. The offense is clicking. So in theory, it feels really safe, but you just you never know. And the the offense has been unbelievable. I mean, they're yeah, just it killing has. the ball. Everyone one they through do. one through eight, you know, excluding the pitcher, of course, but. Everyone's hitting. Yeah. The thing that I like most about the Nationals offense right, right now this year is they don't strike out at all. Like I think they're, they're the second lowest whiff rate in the National League, which these days in baseball, you just never see that. And it makes a difference. We've seen it, you know, sometimes like one of those Cubs games, the, the one that was one of those, the sloppy ones, I forget whether it was Friday or Saturday. Uh, you know, you put the ball in play, good things happen. We tell, like I tell my kids that in Little League all the time, you never know what's going to happen. Ball might drop, somebody might make a bad throw. And so that's what they do. They put the ball in play. They keep the line moving. Um, Robles has been a huge improvement, both defensively and offensively. But if that's the guy who's batting seventh or eighth in your order, like that's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Dozier's been better the second half. So really, you know, the, the top half of the order has been solid most of the year, although Turner and Eaton have been much better lately but really like you said from one to eight it's been great even look even Anibal Sanchez got two hits the other day they were bunts but you'll take it the problem is and we got to run here in a moment Eddie is that we all know playoff baseball isn't like that right you don't win game you don't go up eight nothing in the third inning typically um it's going to be you know it's going to be a dog fight it's going to be one nothing two one three one three no, two but it can help you get there it can help you get there and I think yep. they'll get there but then it's going to come down to our weakest link which is that bullpen Totally, exactly, because you, you trust the rotation and, you know, those bullpen games when it's 2-1, 3-2, 2-2, especially 
Yeah, in postseason, the bullpen comes into play so much earlier because all those innings that the starters are pitching are high stress. So you see the bullpen coming in in the fifth inning, sixth inning, instead of seventh and eighth. So that's why they need Doolittle back. They need Elias back. Uh, and, yeah, still, it's, it's, as well as they're playing, that is the question mark, and it's, it's hard to be confident in that group going into the postseason. Right, right. 